Hello, YouTube. I got a good one for you. Um, so, the battery died on this car. It doesn't get driven in the wintertime. It's a 2015 Challenger. Um, the battery got down to 2 or 3 volts, and then we charged it up. Um, it's been charging for days. Um, the uh, It doesn't start. Uh, this light's been on constantly since the battery died and we've been charging the battery. Same with that light. Uh, the only light in the instrument cluster is that right there. Um, the, uh, the car, you can't unlock it. You can't lock it. You can't pop the trunk. Uh, panic button doesn't work. Um, to my surprise, good on you, Chrysler. Uh, the, the, the automatic window works when you want to get in and out of the car still, which is good. Um, but this car is like totally unresponsive, even though the battery is charged back up again. Uh, there's a charger on it right now and, and it's good. So, uh, I, I'm out of ideas. I'm going to pull the negative battery cable off the battery for about 20 minutes and see if this allows the car to reset or whatever, like come out of whatever fault it's stuck in uh, after the battery drained down to practically nothing. That was it. Yeah, so if you... If the battery dies down um, and you charge it back up again, you have to actually, uh, you have to disconnect the battery for a brief moment. I didn't wait the 20 minutes. I waited maybe two minutes. Uh, hooked the negative battery cable back up again. I started seeing some life up here on the display and it's all good. Hopefully this helps you guys out. You don't screw around for days like I have. Later. And if I may make one more suggestion, take this engine cover off of uh, your engine if you store your car for any length of time. The mice like to get up underneath this thing and build a little house or burrow and chew on shit. Uh, if the car sits for a long, long time, that could lead to a fire, which could, you know, ruin the car. Or ruin the house that the car is parked under when you go to turn your car on for the first time after it's been in storage. This is good advice, trust me. I think the lesson learned here was keep the key as far away from the car as you can while it's being stored. There's a lot of computers and gizmos running electrically in the background when the car is off and it could be talking to the key the entire time it's in storage draining the battery um and then you may want to have like a battery trickle charger or battery tender attached to it while it's in storage um those agm batteries ain't cheap this one was brand new until the car wasn't driven for a couple months and ended up getting drained down to nothing.